what is up you guys i'm back with another video just want to show you guys something i did uh over the weekend uh here we are installed these bad boys here making my bike look pretty sharp right now and also i started greasing up the chains so i have this stand up but got zero chicken strips we got zero chicken strips on the way there, bub. Zero. We got no chicken strips no more. The front, I need to, I need to wash the bike bad because got all these bug guts everywhere. And then oil and stuff on the bottom from road grime. But yeah, these here, they're nice. I need to put some spacers in there because. Uh, then it comes from my shoes comes about right there when I feel like I'm on whole way on the pegs but got pretty low in the corners yesterday and pretty happy with myself about that uh also update on the RMZ250 I got the motor in the shop again this time I went to an actual guy who knows what he's doing that's not going to rip me off and he actually said he'll write me up something so I can go to magistrate and <clears throat> get my money back from the guy who messed up the engine before because he tore it down he said what was in there was un completely unacceptable the dude didn't even clean metal shavings and stuff out of the engine from before um he didn't even put stuff back together right. <laughs> he said uh, the fork, the shift forks were in the wrong place. And so it wasn't shifting right. So yeah, this will be up soon. And then we'll have some videos on it. By that time, I might end up being with my mom and dad. Living with them for a little bit. Until I get a house, house. Because I'm ready to get out of this small little linky dinky thing. Um, <clears throat> but then whenever we're living with my mom and dad. For a little bit till I get a house, house. For me and my wife. Then. Um, I'll be riding with my little brother. And stuff like that. So yeah. And. My little brother he's. A little better. He's on uh, YouTube as A1 Outdoors. So if you ever see him pop up, subscribe. He posts a lot of videos, a lot more than I do actually. But I'm pretty stoked about the motor for <clears throat> motor for this getting rebuilt. But also go subscribe to me. That's my. Uh, YouTube and my Instagram so if you want to look at pictures of this bike and my buddy's bike who has a GSXR or not this is a GSXR 600 but my buddy has a Ninja 636 so you can go check out his videos um it'd be high gear MX uh, me and him started riding pretty recently together he had start his youtube up way before i have so he has a lot more subscribers than i do right now but yesterday he came over and this is half of his exhaust he decided to cut it in half and make it a shorty like mine uh mine was cut by previous owner and it was made to a shorty because if you look up this exhaust this exact exhaust yoshimura s rs3 you will see it's a lot longer than that um so this was shortened it makes it loud um sounds better that way but i do need to give the bike a bath and uh i'm just gonna let you guys have an update on what's going on uh and some stuff that's going on in my life and and uh stuff going on with the bikes uh 
I probably, this is the 85 that's in some of the videos that we have. Probably end up selling it. Uh, I'm not sure when. But it has a fresh brand new back tire. Uh, it runs. It runs good. It needs bath again. But. It's just. I don't ride it no more since I got that. And once I have this. This and that will be the only thing I'll ride. Is this here is too small for me. So I'm ready to upgrade to this bad boy here. Um, I paid $600 for this bike. Needed a whole new bottom end. So I bought the whole new bottom end. Went and got the whole uh, bottom end rebuilt. By a guy who didn't know what he was doing. Got the engine back. It was stuck in first gear. Um, so I took the engine back off. And saved up some money. And now engine's in the shop for this bike. And I cannot wait to get it back. That is going to be awesome. Because what he's going to charge me is half the price of what the dude that did it before charged me. And then I'll end up going to the magistrate and get my money back from the other guy messing it up. And since he has a receipt with his legitimate um, business and his real name on it, that was a nail in a coffin for him. And just so happens that the guy that is rebuilding my bike, his engine right now, has rebuilt all the ATV engines for the judge that is at the uh courthouse that i will have to go to so that right there is slim to none i will get my money back for sure but if you guys like this video like comment subscribe don't forget to forget to hit that bell notification down in the right hand corner so you know when i'm posting peace out